just going through an example of cuff pressure checks and we'll show you through the diagram an example of a normal cuff pressure and an overinflated cuff. So this is an example of a cuff pressure manometer. It measures in centimetres of water. The normal pressure of a cuff is between 20 and 25 centimetres of water in the green area on the display. So this is an example of a normal cuff pressure. And when the cuff is overinflated, you should be able to see that overinflation will put pressure onto the esophageal area, which then could cause fistulas uh, where the tube is pushing up against the es And when the cuff is underinflated, you can see that it's not touching the sides of the trachea, which will then let any subglottic secretions past the cuff and into the patient's lungs.